Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, abbreviated SIDS, is the topic for this video. And SIDS is a very tragic occurrence that involves the sudden and unexpected death of a child, and usually happens between the ages of two weeks and one year. The peak incidence is about two to four months, and after six months, there's a quick drop-off in occurrence. So most of the cases essentially occur before six months of age. There is usually no identifiable cause, and 35 to 55% of all deaths between two weeks and one year are due to SIDS. And almost all of these cases occur when the infant is thought to be sleeping. So let's mention some risk factors involved. Although no identifiable cause is involved, it is thought to be a dysfunction of the cardiorespiratory mechanism. The primary risk factor in SIDS is sleeping on the stomach, which is also referred to as the prone position. And here's a campaign ad which shows a baby sleeping on its back to show you that this is the preferred position for an infant during sleep because sleeping on the stomach is a risk factor for SIDS. Other risk factors include side sleeping, unsafe cribs, smoking in the home, sleeping with a parent, overheated environment, and the sibling of a SIDS baby. Now let's talk a little bit about the diagnosis. An autopsy is done to investigate and rule out the possible cause and other possible causes that can be identified to rule out SIDS are meningitis, intracranial hemorrhage, myocarditis, trauma, and suffocation. So after the autopsy, if all of these are ruled out, then it is given a diagnosis of SIDS. Further management of SIDS involves the involvement of the local police department, a social worker who will be instrumental to help the family deal with this incredible tragedy. Prevention of SIDS as mentioned before, is to ensure that the baby is placed on its back for sleep. Pacifiers may also help because they open the airway. Nobody should be smoking in the household. And also, exclusively breastfeeding the baby also helps. So now let's take a look at a few clinical vignettes. The parents of a three-month-old previously healthy infant check on the baby because they feel that he has been sleeping longer than usual. He is found apneic and cyanotic. The mother calls the EMS and begins CPR. When EMS arrives, the baby is still apneic, pulseless, and asystolic. EMS personnel initiate pediatric advanced life support protocols en route to the hospital without return of spontaneous circulation. 45 minutes after initial resuscitative measures began, the baby remains asystolic and further resuscitative measures are discontinued. Questioning of the parents reveals that the baby was healthy that morning, fed well during the day, and had no sick contacts. The baby was taking no medications and the parents deny access to medications. The baby had been growing and developing normally. The parents report typically placing the baby in the prone position for sleeping as the baby seemed more comfortable and slept better in that position. Both parents were smokers and the mother admits to smoking on average just about 10 cigarettes a day during pregnancy. The most likely cause of death of this infant is. The baby was 
sleeping in the prone position, which means that the baby was sleeping on his or her stomach, which is a known risk factor for SIDS, as is smoking in the household. So two strong risk factors in a baby that has unfortunately died at the age of three months, who was otherwise completely healthy, as the history in this vignette clearly indicates, and that strongly points to sudden infant death syndrome. Which of the following would suggest that the sudden and unexpected death of a healthy infant resulted from deliberate suffocation rather than sudden infant death syndrome? This question answer has to do really with age. Remember, the peak incidence is between two and four months of age for SIDS. And after six months, it's actually quite rare. There's a sudden drop-off in the cases. So if this infant died at the age of nine months, it would actually be less indicative of SIDS and more suspicious for another etiology such as suffocation. And finally, risk factors for SIDS include which of the following? Well, if you remember, sleep position is very important. A risk factor for SIDS includes sleeping on the stomach or side sleeping. And I just wanted to mention that choice D actually has shown to help prevent SIDS because it can open the airway. So the answer to this question is choice A.